Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Here at the Historic District of Savannah, Georgia. Historic District, well, this is actually one of the largest districts in the United States of America with thousands of architectural historic buildings. Now, it dates back to about the 18, the early 1800s when a lot of these homes were built. They have now been converted either into museums, homes, or hotels. As you can see behind me, the architecture, the energy, peaceful, grounded, historic. See? Absolutely amazing. Back to the 1800s. And as you will see behind me in a second, they also have the horse and carriage coming down the street. Savannah, Georgia represents America and was founded in the 17, 1733, I believe it was. All right, as you can see right there. But what I'm gonna be talking on today is, well, feeling for the answer. That's right, feeling for the answer. You wanna choose the right thing to do in life, the highest vibration, not that it's right or wrong, but there is an A, B, and C, as I've talked about before, multiple choice, and one of those answers will lead to the path of least resistance. So I always use a gauge, one to 10. If it's at the gauge of eight, nine, or 10, then guess what? I'll choose that option. I would choose that direction. You may choose that apartment or that house. You may choose that new state to move to. You may choose that new job or that relationship. You always wanna move forward in the A pluses with your decisions choosing the gauge at eight, nine, or 10. Things will flow. You have to ask yourself, how do you feel in that new home? How do you feel in that new job or even the old job? How does it feel there? If it's not an eight, nine, or 10, well, either one, you change positions within the company or you work on your energy and clear the energy that's not working for you. Otherwise, you change jobs if you're no longer happy. If you're no longer vibrating at the eight, nine, or 10, the longer you stay in something that doesn't resonate at an eight, nine, or 10, well, you become heavier energetically, physically, and doesn't feel good any longer. So you have to find the places where you feel good, where it feels right. And every question that you have in your vibration, just ask yourself, how does it make me feel? Where am I at on that gauge? You wanna be moving forward, not backwards in life. As you can see, this beautiful path here, Savannah, Georgia. Georgia is also known, unfortunately, its dark side. This was the biggest port of slave trade. And um, it's unfortunate, but it did happen here at the port. It's still one of the United States' largest ports. And they sold about 436 men, women, and children at that time. However, in the early 1800s, they also had the first African-American church built here. Beautiful thing, they tried to redeem themselves over the years, making things right. As we move forward, as we all are equal, all of us are equal, no matter if you're rich or poor, no matter what color, what skin, what race, what religion, all of us are equal. When you're no longer in a space of feeling inferior or superior, well, you're mastering life because we are all an extension of each other. And we are all equal, believe it or not. I did another video, I believe it was back in England, how we are all equal because we are. No one's higher, no one's below. Even if one feels or is, let's say, more enlightened or evolved or smarter or richer, makes no difference. Once again, what? We are all equal. Working together to raise our vibration, working on ourselves. That's how we raise the vibration of this planet. Okay? So, moving forward, staying on the topic is just use your gauge to make decisions in life. Whatever that decision is, that you're struggling with, whatever question is that you're struggling with, that you have out there, make sure that you choose the eight, nine, or 10 on your gauge. 
because that path will be much smoother than a space where you're settling, okay? And you don't want to settle in life. And if you do, well, things are going to be much more difficult. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Feel and think highly of yourself. And that will come to you as well. Working on self, raising your vibration, being in a space of neutrality, no matter what happens, what comes at you, not judging it, not judging that person. Because a lot of times things that come at you could also be a projection from their space, right? So don't think things personal and choose your A plus in life as you move forward in the higher paths, the higher directions, moving forward through Savannah, Georgia, it's very patriotic, very historic to the United States of America. And like I said, between the 22 squares or parks that are filled with monuments, historic information, museums, these beautiful homes, as you can see behind me, cobblestone streets. The energy is so high vibrational here too, I feel because of so many parks. And that's what most cities in the world need to incorporate is more nature, more trees, more fountains, more grass, more shrubs. Why? It brings in the energy known as the negative ions. And it helps circulate, bring more oxygen to it. It also helps clear energy. All right? So move forward. Choose the A's of your life, the eight, nines, or tens. Anytime you have a difficult question, or maybe even a simple question, just say, where is it on my gauge? Look at the gauge and see where it's at, and move forward in that new direction. Stay tuned at Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World here in historic Savannah, Georgia. Peace.